Okay. Hopefully we're live. Hopefully the streaming software got a, its program together and hopefully I did it right and hopefully we're streaming live. I'm crossing my fingers all at the same time. So let me just wait, see if I'm on here clear. Okay, I want clear. That is a miracle. Okay. Hi, I'm Tucker from Tucker Sewing and Quilting. This is Monday the 21st, 2021. And I'm on here to do a sew and chat with all of you wonderful people. So let's read some comments since we're coming so clearly. And oh, I'm so glad. Okay. I'm just so excited. All right. Let's see. We have Kim Burrs in here. Hi, Kim. We have Vicki Lemire. We have Laura Miller. If I butcher your name, sorry. Okay, let's see. Levanna. His. Okay, I won't even try. All right, Sandra Kinley's here saying hello, Tucker, and everyone. Ellen Campbell, hello, Tucker, and everyone. Ellen, I sent you a message on Facebook today. I hope you saw that. All right, Practically Creative is here. Uh, let's see. Laura Vec, it's a sort of VTAG. That's what I think of when I see your name, the, the little household telephone. Okay, let's see. Uh, Maddie Berna. Let's see. Jenny Harris, Kim Burrs again. All right, let's see. Nancy. Uh, let's see. Tiffany's here from Tiffany's Quilting Life. Hi, Tiffany. I still got to call you. So whenever you're not busy, just let me know. Just let me know. All right. And everyone saying hello to each other. So, it's Monday again. I can't believe it. I just blinked my eyes and it's Monday again. So what have I been up to the past week? I have been long arm quilting some of my subscribers, wonderful quilts, I shipped another quilt out today in the mail, um, so that's very fun and interesting. Um, what else? I uh, got an, another quilt in the mail, which is on my machine right now, and I made a little trip to the fabric store, and it wasn't a dangerous trip. It didn't add to my collection, not my hoarding problem, Ooh, wait, but my collection. So I'll show that in a minute. I will show that in a minute. Uh, but other than that, it might look a little different here in my room or area, I should say. I got a new desk. My iron gave out, so I got a new iron, but I will talk about that in a minute. Uh, what else? Oh, and some new lights. So that's good. That's really good here in the studio. So what's going on here? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, good. Everyone's chatting with each other. Okay, so let me talk about what I bought at the fabric store. One of the things I bought at the fabric store called Vernus Fabrics. Uh, this is a Mennonite lady, an older lady, but she has the most biggest quilt store in Pennsylvania, I think. That's what it uh, seems like to me. And I needed a couple things there. And uh, mostly... Uh, extra wide backing. One of those extra wide backings is on the machine right now, so I can't really show you that, but it's an uh, orangish brown extra wide backing. But I was strolling in the extra wide backing section, you know, as one does, and you just saw a little glimpse of it. Oh, I'm getting a little laggy here, okay? My computer's very much new, but it's very much getting used to this, okay? So let's just uh, hold the fort a minute and make sure we're going uh, live here. It's live on my screen, so I'm just going to assume it's live and everyone else's. It's just cutting in and out a little bit, so I'm just going to continue with my program, okay? My program. So. Let's hope that that gets better, but I'm strolling in the fabric section, as one does, and I found this beautiful, 
purple fabric, extra wide backing, okay? You can see it there. So I thought, I'm buying this. Nobody can talk me out of it, okay? And I thought, what can I use this purple backing on? Because I will just put it up on the shelf and it will sit there. So what I decided I was going to put it on was I'm going to put it on the back of my City of Stars quilt. So that's that. And I'll show it again. I will show it again. It's very nice. Very nice quality. I don't even know where the camera's at, which one I have. Okay, nice. Let me see if I can get the salvage in case somebody wants to buy it because it's really good fabric. Okay. We have Dan Morris Design 2020 for QT Fabrics. And I'm going to put that up on the screen. Okay, let me get that up on here. Hopefully you can read that. Right there it is. If you want to buy this. All right. Okay. Next thing I have to chat about is there that goes. Uh, last week on my live, I was quilting a my new banner that will probably end up hanging right here. So uh, I finished that. Two days later... So here that is. And mostly the reason I finished it two days later was because I got design burnout from quilting all those designs. So here it is. Oh good, my iron's off. I almost burned myself. <laughs> that would have been good on this live. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to stand up a little bit. It has a fold in it, but I can iron that out. Okay, let me zoom in. Close. So this is the section. No, I lied. Okay. This is the section we worked on on last Monday. Okay, here's our lines, our feathers, pebbles, all that stuff we worked on. And uh, the next, the day after the following, I finished quilting that long feather. And I added little... Um, little feathers that come off as you can see right there okay I added those little feathers that stemmed off on both uh, sides just to give it a little bit of difference all right and I ran out of designs that I could really fit in those small areas so in the negative space areas that I did not fill and I'm so backwards here today sorry for all this movement I did very, very dense matchstick quilting, okay? And this took maybe about two hours to do, and I was in constant speed, so you can only imagine how dense this is. So this is my new banner. I will finish it up and post it uh, on Facebook and Instagram and all that for with really good pictures, and it'll just hang right up here. So... And I just throw things and pick them up later. Well, pick some things up later. I live in organized chaos, so that's nice. All right. Everyone is saying, uh, let me go back up here. Uh, everyone's saying, yes, I'm still live. Beautiful fabric. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, that purple fabric is beautiful. I bet Tiffany is drooling over it. I wouldn't doubt it. If I have any left over, I will definitely send it to Tiffany. All right. Everyone's saying about my uh, banner. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Beautiful work. Thank you, everybody. I'm sure everyone else's work is so beautiful in their, everyone's own little way. And that's just my little way. So, we're, after my little uh, rant, I would call it, we're going to get into the, today's episode or video or whatever you want to call it. Oh, and I wasn't going to say nothing unless I was asked and somebody just asked it. Living a Road Life asked, did you get a box from So Yeah Yet? No, I did not. Uh, I did, um, as you all know, So Yeah promoted my channel and got me, you know, the subscribers that I have now, which are constantly growing. But, um, yeah, see, I'm having a squirrel moment. I am going to buy a shirt. 
I'm going to make get a shirt made that says I have a squirrel moment on it. Okay. I did not get a box from So Yeah. I will be calling them maybe Wednesday just to see, you know, what's going on. Because I am, I really am interested in, you know, working with them. Whether that's a collab or whatever. So I will be doing that. And if that does not work out, I will be doing my own little giveaway. Because I got plenty of stuff here that I will never use. All right. Uh, Megan Nace, that is my mom. That's my mom, okay? With my British accent. Um, She's in the chat. And also, I know my brother, Isaac, which when I'm filming any type of moving video other than, you know, live chats here, he's always my cameraman. So if y'all want to say hello to him, he'll probably respond back. So, yes. Okay, so now after I've had my TED Talk, we're going to... Uh, start the sewing chat and we already done the chatting part and I'm going to start this sewing I'm just squirrel moment okay so I'm going to be continuing working on my city of stars quilt I have most of the background uh, sewed on well I do have it all sewed on so I only have like five more seams which are bigger seams to sew so that's what we'll be working on tonight and if i get that finished before the hour is up or close near i have another project that i would like to share or i might save it for next time all right so let me go get that So I had to run to the design wall, but this is the middle section of that. And there is a lot, a lot, a lot of negative space around here. And negative space is something that does not scare me at all. Okay. I love negative space. I love quilting and negative space. And this is a pattern that I definitely want to get digitized and sell at some point. So if negative space is not your jam, I will be including with the pattern that I will be writing up within the next couple months, a more, uh, a pattern with a lot more stars on it. Okay. See how there's only one star in this big old chunk. Maybe this will have, you know, two or three stars in it in the more dense version. So be looking forward to that. So let me figure out how I have this. Because I got it messed up. Okay. Now. Hopefully all my seams line up. I did not use um, electric quilt for this. But that's what I'll be uh, doing the pattern with. But. So hopefully all my math lines up. And look at that. It does. So. Let's try the next part of this and see and hope that it goes well. Okay, ready? Let's see. Cross your fingers, everybody. Ah! Ooh, that was horrible. <clears throat> okay. Don't mind me in my awful singing. So hopefully this works. So you'll just have to let me know. Let me know what it looks like. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Also, let me know, you know, what you're working on, what you're working on, what you're sewing on, what you want to work on, what projects you are dreaming of working on or quilting or just whatever. This is a place where you can just, you know, be yourself and enjoy spending time with other crafters and creators in this, in this room. And I'm starting to sound like a, I don't know what, because it's starting to get allergy season. So I'm just buzzing right along. All right, I see everyone saying it looks good. Everyone's saying hi to Megan and Isaac. Yes. 
I'm surprised. Maybe he popped in here. Hang on. I don't think so. That's okay, though. Oh, and maybe you can see. Yeah, you can right here. I am stitching with red thread. I'm sort of doing the same thing that uh, Tiffany's doing, trying to use up bobbins and little bits and bobs of things. So I just have a red bobbin on the top and I have a white bobbin on the bottom and I have the tension set very good. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Get this straightened out. Oh, a little extra fullness in this lock. All right. Now, if I had a pin around here, right here. All right. I just had to zip off there for one minute, and I might end up ripping this out if I can't work it in, but that's okay. This is what happens sometimes, and especially when you uh, write your own pattern without electric quilt. But this can all be taken in and fixed and this and everything else. But when I have a lot of fullness, to work in, I just take a corsage pin and I just sort of ease that fullness in a little bit. Okay. So that's just what I'm doing. And I'm taking it really slow. I, what I could even do is stick another pin in there and I gotta go get one. All right. Get a pin. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, right there you can. Okay. So what I do is just line up the edge that I want where I want it to meet up. And I stick a pin in it. Not my finger. But see there, you can barely see where all my points line up. And that just keeps that stable while I'm trying to move in all this fullness. And I just take a stitch or two at a time and just push that extra in where it belongs. That worked. It's working good. I maybe had about an extra quarter of an inch of fullness. And that might be uh, because of the way I designed the pattern. But that will all be straightened out by the time the official pattern comes out. Take it real slow. All right, not one tuck in that, and all that fullness was just eaten up. All right, and that can come out with ironing. So, let's try the next part of this that I'm hoping will work. Let's switch to the iron. Aww. Okay. I gotta cut my iron on. And while it's working, I'm gonna tell the iron story. When I first started this uh, City of Stars quilt, let me see if I can get it on here while this heats up. When I first started my City of Stars quilt, I said when I went to Missouri Star that I was gonna get a cordless iron. And my old iron must've heard that and got jealous and not one day after me saying that, my iron broke. Okay, the cord must have got disconnected on the inside and it wouldn't turn on, except for when you had it in one position and I'm not dealing with that. So I had to get me a new iron. I'm a creature of habit. I do not like change. Don't rearrange no furniture. Don't do nothing that involves change, okay? So this is very new and different for me. I'm still getting used to it. To me, it's very bougie, but uh, you make do. So, it's cutting on. Let me switch back to iron. All right. Let me, cut. Let me get this over here and figure out which way I want to press it. All right. This way. This way. Oh, nope. The other way. And I'm trying to... Uh, press away from the bulky seams 
just so it's not as bulky. And I'm turning all the steam on on this just because it would had a little bit of extra fullness. It'll just really settle that down. And I think blocks, uh, quilting them and sewing them with a little bit of extra fullness is so much more fun than sewing, uh, you know, perfectly straight or quilting perfectly straight or flat quilts. You know, because it gives you a challenge and you always, always, every single project end up learning something. And that's, I just, I just like that. I like learning something. Oh, mom said that iron was from 1995. Well, we had to sadly lay it to rest. Okay. Sadly lay that iron to rest. All right, let me just iron this block one more time, just for good luck. Lay it nice and flat. And just... Now this is the first time I've used a steam button, so we'll find out how it works. All right. Let me cut back to the this one. All right, and then I'll read some comments. Let me show you what I got and try not to confuse myself. All right, right here's what I have. Right there's the piece we just sewed on. And then way over here is another piece, okay? That's what I got so far. Let me go get the next section. All right. So now what I have, hopefully y'all can hear me while I'm walking over here. It's two very long pieces, and I'm going to try not to get them confused. So all I'm going to do is just put those pieces right side together and get zipping. And get to zipping. And I'm going to read some comments. Let me turn it on the machine. Right, let me read a comment. All right, uh, Kathy's, uh, Kathy, oh, I can't, Kathy Quilts and Crafts. I'm going to guess that's um, how you pronounce that. Even though I have my glasses on, I really still can't see. Glad to be here, yes. All right, wait a minute, I saw something somewhere. Uh, yep, Tiffany got it. All right. Oh, I, okay, here's a question. And here's a squirrel brain moment again. What is everyone's favorite type of ice cream or frozen dessert? I was thinking about asking somebody, uh, everyone that in a live the other day, and I uh, thought, no, I'll wait till my own. So what's everyone's favorite type of ice cream or frozen dessert? Or if you don't like frozen dessert, what's your favorite type of pie? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, door light. Dorlana Dale asks, what time and day are you usually on? I'm usually on uh, Monday at 8 in the afternoon, uh, Eastern Standard Time. I think it's p.m. Yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Monday, unless I uh, say otherwise. Oh, and then here's another one that I can talk about. Uh, Donna, I don't even know. Uh, what area in PA do you live? I live in Lancaster. Ooh, uh, I live very close to Lancaster, right across the river. 
if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and are you going to the Lancaster Quilt Show this, uh, this week? And you'll have to let me know, and we'll have to maybe meet. And there, that seam got caught, so I just I just back stitched and uh, all right. Let's see. Wait a minute. Here we go. Uh, strawberry ice cream. Yep. Apple pie. Yep. So what kind of iron is that? It is a. Um, that's a good question. I think it's a, a sunbeam, but this says duration on the side. I don't even know, but it's a. Uh, I'll show it in a minute. Uh, it was only maybe like $30 at Target. Uh, they had real expensive ones there, and I thought, I'm not buying an expensive one. And when I got it home, it had a 10-year warranty on it sticker, so I just kept that one. So if it breaks within that 10 years, well, then they lie. All right. Let me read a comment. Uh, let's see. Okay, what kind of iron is it? Uh, let's see. Butter pecan ice cream. That should be good. Oh, I read that. Cherry pie. Love peanut butter and chocolate. Yep. Mm-hmm. Moose tracks. That's what I like in that department. Okay, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Anything chocolate. Snow cream. Now, I wonder what that is. Black walnut. Oh, that's good. I like black walnut and cherry. Uh, let's see. Lemon cream pie. Yes. Yeah. My uh, favorite at the moment is mint chocolate chip. But if you ask me in a week, it'll probably be something different. Uh, but last week it was a peanut butter. Uh, I want to say fruit cocktail, but that's not it. Oh, It's where you have uh, yogurt sometimes or whipped cream, cake. Oh, parfait, that's the word. Uh, yeah, last week it was a peanut butter parfait. So that was what that was. And now this week it's mint ice cream. <clears throat> I just need to get me a drink. All right. Oh, get this straightened out. After this, only two more seams to go. There's a little bit more fullness, so maybe only about an eighth of an inch. All right, that'll work. Uh -huh. All right, well, uh, I would just like to say uh, I'm glad that my streaming software is working clear. Uh, you guys all should be streaming at about uh, 1080p, which is very good quality, at 60 frames a second. Uh, and some of you might know what that means and some of you not. But I did talk to Sobeka after last Monday's live, and she told me what software she used, and it was the same software as mine. And, you know, she really helped me out with that. So, big thanks to her. So let's go iron. All right. Let's see. I have a big old long piece here. And I gotta see what I'm doing. I'm gonna iron towards this. So here we go. Let's see what's going on in the comments. I don't know what mom's talking about. I don't know who she's even talking to. Uh, okay. It's mom answering questions about so yeah. Alrighty. So. Maybe I'll, what time is it? It is 8.30. Okay, maybe I'll, I'm going to sew one more seam on this uh, quilt. 
and then I'm going to uh, put this up and talk about the next quilt project that I'm going to be working on. It's actually a UFO from a long time ago. So I will talk about that because I would really like to share that. And I need a pair of scissors. All right. And sorry, Mom, if you caught that. They just went on the floor. All right. I know she called it now because she's in there listening. All right. So let's see. Just pressing, just pressing, just pressing. All right. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I see that. Uh, let's see, wait a minute. Okay, uh, Marla... Plug it. Okay. You know who you are. Uh, said, they said on Saturday night that it shipped. Talking about the So Yeah uh, giveaway box. Uh, that's okay. Thank you for letting me know that they said that. I'll just um, text them and, you know, ask them, you know, if that's the case. and Which I'm sure it is. But I'll just talk to them and see what's going on. Cause I and I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because those guys are really, really busy. Really, really busy. Hope you can see what I'm doing. My arms in the way. All right. Whoa, hi. There we go. Needed to adjust my camera a little bit. Still could be adjusted, but I'll just leave it alone. I'll just leave it alone. All right, so I'm watching what's going on. All right, let me switch to main camera. So this is what I have so far. And I know you can't see all of it, but this is what I have. All these stars are starting to come together. And I'll post good pictures of this in Facebook groups and, you know, things like that and everything else. And on my Facebook. So, uh, let's see. Let me get this. Okay, I knocked a whole pack or I knocked a whole pile of stuff over, so I'll have to clean that up. Okay. Now I gotta remember how I had this. Okay, right like this. All right, one more seam, and then I'm going to talk about the next project. All right. Let me just take a stitch or two in this, and I'll read some comments. All right, let's see, let's see. Okay, I will let him know. Okay, let's see. Oh, that would be great. All right, everyone's talking to everyone. Oh, everyone's saying that that looks great. Okay, uh, living a rogue life. Uh, did you leave a lot of open space on your quilt top for long arm design? Yes, I am uh, going to be placing an order for thread here in the next couple days. And I have a uh, purple uh, variegated thread in my cart and it might have a little bit of orange in it maybe maybe black I don't know 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my computerized machine and what's the word I want to use? Stitch, stitch the block. So what I'm going to do is take this design, I don't even know, this, you know, I'm going to uh, mark points around each one of these star points with my machine and let my computerized machine stitch this out in these negative areas every so often. And then, um, you know, I can do thread painting in those or, you know, whatever I want. So yes, I did leave a lot of open space for quilting. And like I said in the uh, beginning part of this video, if um, if and when, well, when, more than if, when I do a pattern, there will be two versions, a very open design for you know people who really like to play with negative space and one that has a lot more stars for people that just want to, you know, put an edge to edge on it or, you know, don't like the negative space. Oh, and let me switch back to machine. Let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see. Tucker, it's going to be a beautiful it's going to be beautiful with that thread and your amazing quilting. Well, I sure hope so. We'll see. You'll get to see it because um I mean wait a minute. Because I'm going to be broadcasting it live. Or I'll make a work day out of it. So you'll get to see what I am doing. All right. I just pull those threads out all right and right here this is intentional because when I was doing math the math wasn't mathing with this but this little end right here will be uh, trimmed off with the binding and quilting but all will be fixed when I make a pattern will be fixed and as far as my calculations go for this pattern um oh see I had a squirrel moment I saw something fly by um as far as my calculations go for both patterns the one with a lot of open space and the one with um a lot more stars you only need two and a half nope three and a half yards of background fabric or less and only six fat quarters. So to me, that's a pretty big steal. A lot of background, but a pretty good steal. So if you have, let me switch it. So if you have a six, six fat quarters you truly love, this would be the perfect quilt because it really would showcase them. So, <clears throat> all right, let's see. Get this put up. So this is the bottom piece of that. And then tomorrow morning, I'll just sew that last seam. Okay. Now, what I really want to talk about is my quilt that's coming up. My next quilt project. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, let me read a comment or two. Let me read a comment or two. Okay, let's see. So cool. Okay, so you are basically going to do minor uh, stitching in the block. Mirror the stitch, the block stitching. That will look amazing, yes. So what I'll do, this isn't how I'll do it, but this is how I explain it. 
when I stitch in the ditch along the stars and the uh, flying geese that make the uh, stardust, I'll hit record on my machine. So my machine will record all of my movements. Then I'll place that recording in the open space and it'll look like a quilted block. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A ghost block. That's the word. All right. Let's see. Uh, Tucker, Gail, uh, I sent a lady your way for custom quilting. Uh, she said she was going to look you up. I, mm, well, the quilt I mailed today was semi-custom quilting. I don't know. I get so many people now wanting me to quilt their quilts. I can't keep them straight. So, um, uh, she might have, or that person might have, or might have not. So, <clears throat> that's that. All right, let's see. Faith Smith, Tucker, are you a, mo uh, a more modern or traditional quilter? That's a good question. Okay. That's a good question. Um, I'm going to get me a drink. And that's a good question. Because the banner I just did to me was very modern. Uh, you know, I do anything from star quilts to, well, that star quilt I'm working on is very modern, but I do all types of quilts. I just love anything, any type of quilt. I will make it. I even want to try applique. So, so we'll see about that. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, my kids are the same. Uh, does everyone sew without shoes? I do. I don't, I don't wear shoes unless it's sandals. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. All right. Ghost block will be stunning. Yes. Okay. I only have a couple minutes. Well, I have a long time on here left, but I want to talk about this project. So let me root it out here. Okay. I got my little table here. And let me just show y'all, okay? I'm go I'm keeping it real. I am keeping it real. No matter where I go or whatever, I'm going to keep it real, okay? Because what are we? We're all real. So, right here, if I push my desk in like this, okay, that looks very ordinary, right? But when I pull it out like this, it looks like a hoarder lives on this table, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I just have a lot of stuff. So let me clear this stuff off so I can talk about this. And that's another thing. I don't know where to go with anything. So this is what I have. Okay, let me push this back in and try not to spill water on the floor. And I'm stuck on a cord. Okay. So what I have here is these fabrics came from my great-grandmother's sewing room. Um, she had cut a lot of this stuff ahead of time. She cut uh, four-inch squares out of little cardboard rectangles and, you know, these two-and-a-half-inch squares out of little rectangles. And I inherited them um, a couple months ago. And I decided that I was going to put this quilt together with all the patches that she cut, you know, by hand. And, you know, some of them she did start to sell. And I didn't know what to do because the math wouldn't have mathed. These squares wouldn't have lined up and they would have got cut off and, um, you know, things like that. So I needed to come up with, you know, a pattern or some way to incorporate all these fabrics together. And the one pattern that came to mind, especially, uh, you know, with me and my great grandmother's background, she's the one that taught me to sew. And we started out with nine patches and then we moved to 25 patches all by hand. But that's how, uh, she taught me to sew. And that's really how I learned to sew. So I wanted something to sort of capture that. And the first thing I thought of was, well, I can't, do nine patches because they won't line up. And the next thing I thought of was a glorified nine patch. And I thought, well, these squares won't 
you know, these little tiny squares will be too small for um, that glorified nine patch. But what if I make nine patches with the squares she already made and then sew these two and a half inch squares in 25 patches and cut the glorified nine patch. So these I already have sewn together and pressed the rest of the way. And this is the, oh, you can see my iPad down here, but I really don't care. So this is my nine patch. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I should put it up like this, but I don't have nothing for once. But here's my nine patch. And this is the Martelli double wedding ring. Uh, oh, I'm having a brain fart. Template. There we go. And I made sure that these squares were going to, or these nine patches were going to fit underneath this template. See there, this template fits in the middle, you know, that the fabric doesn't get cut off anywhere. So what I'm going to do is line this double wedding ring up in the center. And this would be your background. On a normal double wedding ring, this would be your background, okay? So I'm just going to cut that, and that will make the, the actual... Uh, glorified nine patch and for the tan uh the tan or background pieces in this baggie when you buy uh this set it comes with a big melon so all i'll do is cut you know the scraps of light background that i have and cut them like that so that's the project that i'm going to be working on next okay and i might do um a video on it I think I'm gonna just save it and uh, do it live so let me cut this back on so that's what I have and I'm still caught on the cord okay let's see let's read some comments I love reading comments okay where's my drink all right let's see yep no shoes unless you're leaving the house yep I can agree with that. All right. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Let's see. Ellen of Campbell or of yep of Campbell's Creation says I have to put on my shoes to walk down the stairs, or I will fall down the stairs every time. Well, you be careful, Ellen. We don't need you falling. We don't need you falling, Ellen. All right. All right. Okay, Tucker, you remind me of my oldest grandson. I love the way you think and get things across. Yes, I am a straight up person. If I don't like something, if something ain't right, I will tell you. I'm not going to be, oh, well, you know. Oh, nope, I'm going to tell you that ain't right. I don't like what you're doing. Okay, I'm keeping it real. So, what time is it? All right, I think I have a couple more minutes on here. And... Oh, here. All right. I'm going to sew some of these little squares together. Just going to grab a handful of them and sew them. Yes. Oh, let's see. Uh, nope. Wait, wrong one. Machine. There's too many buttons to push. All right. So this is very simple. Just take two little squares and put them right sides together and just sew them. Just sew them. Just sew them. So. Where's that? There it is. All right. Let's see. Uh, these. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, Kim. Kim said, Megan Nace, you are very blessed with such a wonderful son. Many of us love him too. Oh. I'm sure she's in there just gleaming. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Craft. Craft Maven Deb said, I think so. Yes, said uh, they will get it to you. And But they have been busy. Yeah. I understand that. I understand that. I got in the zone. I forgot. I even forgot I was on live. Oh man. That's why I wasn't talking. I'm down here. In the zone. In the zone. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Megan Ace, you raised them up right. I she sure did. She sure did. Let me tell you. And everyone uh, thinks I got I get so many comments about you know oh I love your accent or whatever you know and I think that's because um, well everyone who meets me in person everyone says that they think I'm an old soul and I well I wouldn't doubt it okay I wouldn't doubt it One doubt, it, one bit. All right, let's see. Tracy Albert, Tucker, you are the same age as my youngest son. And the comments just jumped. Okay, wait a minute. I asked him if he wanted to sew with me, and he said, no, nah, not into this thing, Mom. Or wait, no, nah, not my thing, Mom. I had to say it in the classic teenage voice. Uh, I will leave that up to you, by the way. Can you make me a quilt? Yep, yep. Um... Uh, when was that? That was the other week. Well, let me start in the beginning. A couple years ago in 2019, uh, I made my brother Isaac a quilt, and he loves red. And that quilt, obviously, you know, we grew up and things like that, and that quilt, you know, is a little too small. So the other week, we went to the fabric store, and he picked out fabric, and I made him another quilt. And that's just my machine going off, not the fire detector. Okay, stop. Uh, I made him another quilt, and he just loves that thing. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Kimber's Tucker, you made me laugh so many times tonight. Yep. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad everyone's here having a good time. All right. Just sewing these pieces together. Uh, let's see. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Tucker amazing me. He puts me to shame with some of his sewing. Oh, I don't want to make anyone feel bad. I... Hey, you're... Everyone here is doing the best of their abilities, and that is all that matters. As long as you're making something and it's keeping you out of trouble, that's that's what counts. All right. Uh, let's see. Tucker, do you have to do a senior project to graduate? I feel like your channel and business qualifies you. Well, uh, let me just talk about this. Uh, I am in a business two class in my school, and... I'm sure if you dig deep enough on YouTube, you can find my recent advertisement. And uh, they, uh, everyone at the school knows what I do, but this business teacher, she especially loves what I do. And she wanted uh, me to...
to be a part of this month's career fair. So I will be speaking at this month's career fair at my school. So that is very interesting, exciting, and nerve-wracking all at the same time. Okay, look. So, yeah. And I have no clue about a senior project. That'll be coming up mm, two years. I don't know. I just go to school every day. Uh, let's see. Mom, I've been an old soul since day one. I wouldn't doubt it. All right, let's see. Tiffany, my 16-year-old son, uh, did make a pillow before. He won't quilt, but he loves the quilts I made him. Yep, yep. Well, so does my uh, mom and brother and grandma. Uh, I made them all quilts and every one of them except grandma because she doesn't want to get it dirty because of the dog sleeps under theirs. Uh, let's see. Um, Philip Webb says, are you playing Bob and Chicken? Absolutely. I have been sewing all day and have not changed the bobbin. So we'll find out in a minute if it's going to run out. And I love playing Bob and Chicken, okay? All right, let's see. <clears throat> Jen Harris says, at Megan Nace, are you his mom? Yes, that is my wonderful mother. That is my mom. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Tucker, do you have... Do you ever make up blocks or patterns of your own? Yes. Um, if you scroll back to the beginning of the um, live, the City of Stars, that is going to be one of my patterns that I do. All right, let's see. And I do make, um, you know, some of my own blocks and quilting designs and things like that. All right, Ellen, at Tucker Sewing Quilt. Wait a minute. At Tucker Sewing and Quilting. I just finished the log cabin blocks. And it's made by you. Let's see. I'm I'm so happy to have two quilts made by myself and friends. Tea quilts. So along three years back. Yes. I have that quilt. Um, I quilted that quilt. And it's all uh, finished up. And I loved every minute of it. Uh, Nancy Gus. Tucker, did you say the smoke alarm went off? No. My iron after it... Um, doesn't get used for a couple minutes it starts to beep like the fire alarm was going off and the first day i got it out of the box and it started beeping that's what i thought that the fire alarm was going off but after i figured it out i was like "Ooh, okay okay let's see you're 16 and i'm 81 you out so me <laughs> all right let's see awesome you will do fine you have a wonderful son let's see getting a little laggy here probably because everybody's on the internet watching me all right I'm gonna sew a couple more pieces here oh let's see okay see I know you're 16 but you are so mature I was thinking uh you're graduating soon uh you're getting so much experience because of your quilting yes I sure am a lot of experience mm. you know especially with the business side of it and the meeting people side and it's just it's just all around uh, wonderful I'm so glad that I'm able to do this oh that was a little off all right let's see uh, let's see uh, let's see. What brand of machine am I using? I had to think a minute. I'm using a Brother PQ1500SL. I love my Brother machine. It's the same as, you know, the Jukies and the, uh, I think it's the same as the Jukies, but I know it's the same as the uh, Brother or Baby Lock. All right. Crystal Lewis, at Megan Ace, I think your son has such talent, and I'm very proud. Oh, well, thank you. And I'm sure mom's, my mom's in there. Goo-goo-eyeing. All right. Let me sew one or two more of these. One or two more. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Tiffany, uh, yep. Uh, make sure, uh, if you're in here, make sure you give me, uh, you know, a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're, uh, new here. You know, these analytics are very shocking, really. A lot, ha over half of the people that, you know, watch my videos aren't subscribed. Can you believe it? Um, so yeah. So just be sure to, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. So let me switch back to this and answer one question while I'm thinking of it. How old is your brother, Tuck? Uh, is he younger or older? Oh no, he's younger. He's younger. So I have complete control. So he is 15. He just turned 15 last weekend. So, yes. Yes. All right. Let's see. I love my brother. Uh, CS600i. That I think that's a computerized machine. I'm guessing. But that's good. I love my brother machine. All right. Same with my channel. It's about 60% watching or not subscribed. Yep. Yep. So, if anyone has any questions... Uh, you know, you can ask them or just, uh, if this is over, you can, uh, type in the comment box. Uh, let's see. I got to get all my paper straightened out after this, but, uh, yes. So that's what I'll be working on. I'll be doing the, um, next week. I might, let me just tell you what my, um, brain plan is okay since tomorrow morning i'm going to finish the city of stars quilt i might just pop in live sometime during the week maybe on thursday and you know show how i'm you know basting that quilt or stitching in the ditch or you know whatever maybe or i might make it a um a video that i will upload by next week um, what else? It just popped out of my mind. So that will be maybe Thursday. And if it's not Thursday, I will definitely be going live on next Monday. And if I don't get the chance to load that quilt, um, that's what I'll be working on next Sunday. If I do get the chance to load that quilt, I will be working on these glorified nine patch blocks and other than that, I have not a clue to do. So if you have any suggestions on what I should do or what I should work on, uh, let me know in the comments. And other than that, we're ready to roll. Because I like to keep my lives about, you know, under an hour. Just easy. Just easy is that way. All right, let's see. Now I have two brother machines and love them. Yep. I'm jealous. You have nails. I have horrible nails. I I just uh, just trim them. That's it. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Oh. Diane. Hello, Tucker. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Glad you, uh, you could make it. We're about ready to hop one out of here. Uh, but you can always catch the replay. All right. Let's see. All right. Hi, Tucker. We're neighbors. I'm in Lancaster County. Are you going to the quilt show next week? Yes. I have had the little Lancaster quilt show card hanging in my closet for about a year now. Um, I am going. So if you want to uh, email me or message me, maybe sometime we can meet up because I don't know when I'm going. I could be going anytime from when it opens to Saturday. So just... Um, Message me. You can email me on Facebook or Instagram or just email me. It's in the um, about section of my YouTube. So that should be fun. All right, let's see. A rogue. Uh, living a rogue life. Do you have your watch hours yet? Almost. Uh, I have. Oh, and speaking of old soul, I am a very old soul because I write everything down. If you tell me something, I got to write it down, okay? Or I'll forget it. 
Uh, and see there, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, watch hours. Yes, I am very close to reaching my watch hours. Thank you very much. Uh, it's grown about a quarter since last Monday. So that is, you know, very good. And I'm very thankful to all the subscribers. All right. TC Norton, thank you for the lot. It was very awesome. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's see. See you at the quilt show. Can't wait. It's been two long years. Well, Paula, just let me know what uh, day you're going to be going. Just let me know. You guys that are going to the Lancaster Quilt Show, just let me know. Hopefully we can meet up. That would be awesome. So, all right, everyone. Um, I think I've talked so much. I won't be able to talk for three more days. So, I'm going to cut this off. And I hope you guys all have a good... Um, rest of your night, evening, morning, wherever it is. So yeah. So see you all maybe Thursday. Don't get your hopes up, but maybe Thursday and for sure next Monday. Bye everyone.